In just five seconds, information on any health worker in Uganda can be accessed by typing aloud the name of health worker in send to 8198. It is the latest development backing the inspection department of the Ministry of Health. Similarly, the Allied Health Professional Council is resuming inspection to apprehend illegal health practitioners. The council's registrar Chivilango Patrick Mpima says some health providers will face disciplinary action or have their certificates cancelled or withdrawn. A health professional, you have been given a license to operate a clinic and you leave that clinic in the hands of a non-professional, that license is going to be withdrawn. Because we have realized that most of the people we give license are not there in the clinics to attend to patients. They leave there their relatives, they leave there anybody. And these people have caused the harm to our patients. So we Chibilango blames public for supporting some illegal health providers at the expense of their lives. We are going to sensitize the communities through our uh, DHIs, district health inspectors, who are really supervising the health inspectors on the ground to sensitize the communities about the dangers of getting treatment from unqualified people. Because many people realize when it is too late that they have been treated by non-professional people. And some people have gone to the level of getting those abscesses which are caused by injections and they end up paying a lot of money in the government setups. Yeah. He was addressing health providers at Iganga and Ginger Main hospitals. Members of the council proposed that the registration fee be lowered since their salaries are not yet increased. The Allied Health Professional Council is an autonomous body recognized by the Act of Parliament to regulate and supervise the health profession in Uganda.